What does GRACE stand for? So GRACE stands for Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment. Mike Watkins is head of the science division at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. He was the mission manager for the latest Mars rover mission, and he is the project scientist for GRACE. So here's what I'm a little confused about. I thought NASA was a space agency, and we're here to do a story that's about the Earth. It may seem funny because you know we think we send we send missions we send spacecraft to to Mars or the Moon because we don't live there. So how else can you learn about it? The problem is the Earth is a very complicated system. So you know we have the atmosphere, we have the oceans, we have polar ice caps, we have aquifers under the ground, and it's incredibly hard for you to be everywhere all the time. So you know to really understand the Earth as a as an integrated interacting system, you need to be in Antarctica in the middle of the winter, you need to be in the middle of the ocean, you need to be looking underground, and you can really only do that from space. Watkin showed us the 18 NASA satellites currently studying our own planet. Some of the satellites observe the ocean, some are observing uh, polar ice caps, some are observing rainfall or clouds. This is orbiting Carbon Observatory, Tropical Rainfall Mission. Here's GRACE, Landsat. There's all kinds of missions going around. They're each making different observations. And so NASA's kind of broad array of, of space technology and Earth sensing missions is, is really revolutionizing our science. 